What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you yet another brand new video. And this this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, the stats I'm going to share with you guys. As again, if you missed the last video, we did just have a random matchup, an even breakdown, uh, mind you, against Grumpy Old Men. Huge, huge shout out. To all the guys and girls over, over in Grumpy Old Men, uh, followed them a lot in Premiere in uh, Season 3, making it to the quarterfinals. An even breakdown, random matchup. We matched these guys. It couldn't have been more than 10 seconds when we were spinning. Uh, even breakdown, the final, 112 to 110. But what makes this war even more special, what makes this war so special, I haven't even gotten to the stats yet, is... is the fact that this was the first war where, uh, for those of you guys that don't know or missed it in the big announcement video uh, that I put out uh, a few days ago, this is the first war where we warred with the DA guys uh, since Fortune from Steel and Dark Avengers merged as one. Um, but yeah, so this is the very, very first war where those guys came over and the numbers that were put up this war on both sides were absolutely insane. Uh, it, it sounds crazy even saying it, but we, but we put up, guys, we put up 11 10v10 triples. Mind you, this is obviously post-update. I already, show, already featured two of these attacks, featuring an HGHB and a Queen Charge. Um, mass Hog Attack, Queen Charging into Inferno Tower, where you heal right through it. Uh, make sure you guys check that out, but that was the last video posted on the channel in case you guys missed it. I have some more unique attacks similar to those that I'll be sharing with you guys. I want to feature quite a few of the Dark Avenger guys that came over. Um, since, you know, they're brand new to the clan. I want to give them a warm welcome. Uh, but again, huge shout out to everybody in Grumpy Old Men. So, let's get into the attack. We put up 11 10v10s this war. 11 10v10 triples. Absolutely insane. Grumpy Old Men uh, putting up 6 10v10s themselves. Um... And this could have been a, a much different turnout. They did have three dip fills, which uh, we were pretty surprised to see. We, were, we went six for six. We didn't focus that much on uh, 10v11. We were focusing on the 10v10s. So we did have uh, quite a few 11v11 attempts. I believe we had five or six 11v11 attempts. We did not pull off an 11v11 three star, but... Um, I can already see, we can already see, this is the very first war for both for both clans, warring post-update, uh, guaranteed the meta is changing. I mean, whether you like it or not, the meta is going to be changing. Uh, what I want to show you guys though, I don't give a shit, you guys know I love Town Hall 9, I got to show you this insane attack uh, from Chief Redback, aka CRB. Every time we see this guy attack, we don't even know Number one, what the attack is called. Number two, how he even break. How does he even come up with these plans? Uh, I don't. I don't even know how he does. Let's just go ahead and watch the attack. Jumping in, he said, "I am bringing wall breakers." He's bringing three jumps to this attack. Uh, and notice he still has two more golems to deploy, keying up on the fact that this base has most of the point uh, defenses on the edges where wizards and or something like a baby dragon can get to it pretty easily you see the bowlers making their way into the core saving his queen dropping his queen down here just doing like a nice uh naked queen walk just uh getting some tank from that golem and you just slowly kind of see the base disappear and this guy does it time after time again i kind of want to put a video together just featuring crb due to the fact that the guy is a fully maxed, 100%, well, not 100%, he's a fully maxed Town Hall 9, besides the fact that he has not unlocked Hounds. He only does ground attacks, and again, the way this dude breaks down bases, uh, it's, it's, it's really inspiring to see how he even comes up with these plans, how he does it. Uh, it kind of seems like he's just throwing attacks together, um, but definitely identifies bases, gets the job done. He did have a six pack this war. That was a cleanup hit, that was not fresh. Uh, but regardless, a very unique attack that I wanted to get out to you guys. You guys know uh, I'm a big fan of uh, unique attacks. So we're gonna go up here. Uh, we do have a dragon attack. I wanna show you guys, we went ahead 
Okay, that's I know that one's a bitch attack. Which one was? I think it was this one. So I showed you I showed you guys already the hit on 14 and 15 in that last video. Um, okay, we'll go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and watch this one. This is actually the base that I got a 98% on doing a Grundy. Look, this base is gonna go away in a minute and 30 seconds. I'm telling you, these Inferno Towers, not only the Inferno Towers, which is the, the hugest surprise from this update, but another thing that needs to be mentioned that I don't think people are talking about enough is the fact that the Expos got a huge, huge nerf. Um, I mean, that's the strongest point defense uh, on the base is the Expos. And all that HP nerfing the Expos is definitely opening up a lot of bases. A lot of bases getting exposed. I don't even know how the meta is going or how tens are going to build around defending other tens. I mean, three starring tier five fully max bases. I mean, Hogs, Bitch, Lalo. HGHB, Grundinator, I mean, LOL, I mean, Sui Hero Lalo, Dragons. There's just so much now. And as you guys see, healing right through both Inferno Tower Beams. Still has all kinds of troops left up. Uh, notice he, he did have his queen on the outside of the base. He did know uh, that there was going to be a hound. Uh, but, I mean, we saw a lot of bitch attacks this war. Uh, I mean, I'd say there's at least three out of the 11 was probably using bitch. Due to the fact that you can heal through those ITs, uh, once those IT goes down, it's pretty much GG. Let's see this one. I want to show you guys a few of these hog attacks. Uh, so here's one right here. A lot of kill squads. Uh, we do. We did have a few queen charge hog attacks, um, but kill squads uh, absolutely OP. Uh, I mean, you funnel those heroes in. You get those bowlers in. I don't even know. If he's bringing, I don't know if he has CC bowlers or if it was CC hogs. He does have 26 cooked up in the camps. But notice the side that he's coming from. Uh, post, or uh, excuse me, pre update on a base like this, you'd be attacking towards the Inferno Towers, hoping, praying, and hoping that your queen and or Valkyries would take out, and king would take out both Inferno Towers. You'd be hogging the other side. Uh, and, oh, and getting both heroes. But now, again, bases will change. You know, defense always lags behind offense. But notice the entry uh, that Chimo is doing on this base. He's coming opposite. It's crazy. He's coming on the other side of the IT. He's going to be hogging right through. Here they come. You already see he broke the defense ring, setting in 26 hogs. So he did have CC bowlers uh, to break that defense ring, get some more value. Still has queen ability. And here we go, healing right through those ITs, taking on both ITs. Uh, first one goes down. Has a nice split, and you'll see uh, he did have three. He had a jump and a rage. He's bringing three heal spells uh, for the back end. And look at all these hogs still left up. Uh, even chasing, even with the ground skellies, look at right here. These hogs have normally been toast already. Landing on a giant bomb, and he can pretty much get that heal. Other than that archer tower and that cannon, he's pretty much has that heal covering all the remaining defenses and just completely ends up wiping out this base. Look at all those hogs, guys. Um, if you if you do, if you haven't figured it out yet, I'm sorry. I, hogs are going to be the new meta. It's going to be interesting how these bases are going to defend. I mean, you defend against hogs. Now you can open up yourself to air. We still have dragons that are OP. We did have one dragon attack that was on the lowest tier town hall ten. So I'm not I'm not going to show that one. But we did have a clone bone. Nice attack um, from uh, Chimo right there. Uh, here we have Luke. Yeah, we'll go ahead and show you guys Luke's right here. Uh, this one is doing a queen charge. And we'll see how he breaks this base down, bringing two rage. And he's bringing uh, three heal spells. But again, Hogs is, I'm, I'm pretty confident, and it's still early on. This is only the, the first war that we've done, uh, again, post-update. But, I mean, Hogs are just wrecking bases. And, I mean, even bases like this... Uh, I mean, a lot of these bases we would be dipping. I mean, you pretty much focus on the bottom three, you know, bottom four Town Hall 10s, uh, you know, the, the, the lighter Town Hall 10s, unless there was a, a, a heavier Town Hall 10 that was just a, you know, just a bad build that you could just overpower with air. Uh, but now, it to me, it just kind of seems like 
there's no Town Hall 10 that's off limits uh, where you can, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's all about the hogs, guys. I mean, hogs are wrecking bases. I mean, how are how, what, what's the defense CC? Are you going to have a damage CC? But a kill squad can just mow through that. Your queen will get so far with the damage CC. Is it going to be a hound CC where you could uh, do like a queen walk bitch, you know, sue your queen and, you know, still use air? Again, even with balloons, you could just heal, you know, heal haste or heal rage through those inferno towers. I don't know, guys. Let me know. As I'm rambling, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Um, I don't know. It's going to be really, really interesting to see. Uh, still has a baby dragon. Still has two wizards left to deploy. And here comes the CC Hogs. It just seems like, and again, because of the Expo nerf, uh, and of course, uh, of course, the Inferno Tower nerf, it just seems like these Hogs just don't fade away. And these are the same Hogs. Hogs didn't get a damage uh, buff. They didn't get an HP buff. These are the exact same Hogs that we had, but it's the defenses. Uh, and knowing that you can send a group of Hogs right into an Inferno Tower, uh, with two giant bombs, you drop that heal. I don't even know what you're going to use a freeze for anymore. Um, so again, so many questions. Left. And look, it, Queen's still up. Charge still going strong. Still had plenty of hogs left up. Uh, plenty of cleanup. Very, very nicely done uh, to Luke. Again, trying to show love. Uh, well, not trying, but showing love to all the DA guys. These are all the, the guys from DA that came over. Uh, I mean, these are all 10v10s. I got to show you Jacob. Other than when Jacob would have to do a 10v11, I have never even seen him use a kill squad. He was always uh, Sui Hero Lalo or Queen Charge Lalo. Look at Jacob. Look at my man Jacob doing a shattered mass hog attack. Uh, I, I don't even know what to say. I was, I was, I was giving him a little shit for it. Uh, I'm not giving him shit, but just I told him, I said, dude, I've never even seen you train a golem for a 10v10 before. It was all about air. And we now we have guys using hogs that have pretty much only used balloons for the last three seasons in CWL. Uh, people identifying very early on what is going to, what's going to define this new meta. And... I think it's pretty safe to say it's hogs if you guys haven't figured it out. There he goes, uh, starting over here at about 2.30, sitting in hogs up here at 12 o'clock. And, uh, I mean, I don't know, guys. You tell me. Yeah. Again, as I'm rambling, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Uh, and here we have Hung Bobot. Uh, again, a lot of people switching it up. Here we have the single Inferno IT. But I mean, with hogs, just hogs are just gonna mow right through it. If you can break that defensive ring, and you just, I mean, you got 20 plus hogs, really, really hard to defend right now. Um, so here we go. Just a few defenses left, and these hogs still has plenty of hogs left up. Just has an, uh, two archer towers and that Tessa to get through, and that's gonna be GG. Nothing but cleanup. Queen's still surviving. Our queen's gonna survive. Clean up over here. Got wizards. Got a minion. Got some archers. Ending up at the builder hut. Um, so yeah, I, speechless. Eleven ten v tens. Of course, I can't show you guys all of them. This video would be an hour and a half long. Uh, that was a that was a dip, and we did go six for six. Zongo getting a, a fresh, uh, not fresh, but getting a ten v ten six pack this war. Uh, we have rock. So these are the ones that I already showed you guys. I mean, this is a tip. We're at the top of the map now, guys. Uh, we're pretty much at the top of the map. Okay, that was a dip. Uh, I will show you guys. Okay, that's where. Okay, so those were dip. So this was the very top uh, town hall terrain right here. I got to show you guys Tadpole. He's upset. We got Tadpole. Tadpole's upset. He doesn't want to use hogs. He was like, why does the meta have to be this? But even, I mean, Tadpole. Mr. Queen Charge Lalo, Mr. Sui Hero Lalo, again, identifying very early on what's going to be the meta. And look at this base guy. This is a fully map guaranteed. Four days ago or three days ago, this base would have been dipped right off the bat just based on the fact that it's fully maxed. I mean, tier fives were just naturally going to be uh, dip targets, plain and simple. It, you know, if it was a good build, or, or I mean, we would always focus again, like I already said, on the lower weight town hall tens. But it, again, it just seems like no town hall ten is off limits. Uh, but Tapple, 
not doing a not doing a queen charge on this one. He's gonna be going straight or not doing a a kill squad on this one. Doing a queen charge. Beautiful double double layer wall break. Uh, so he's using hogs, but he's getting nice and fancy um, with the queen charge. And notice that uh, deep redwoods uh, had a damaged CC, probably anticipating a fresh 11 v 10 dip. But again, with the way 10 v 10s are and having 11 of them. It just opened up that 11 v 11 opportunity. So the 11 v 11s definitely have to get on the grind, start FCing. I mean, once people start catching up, uh, I mean, what's gonna define wars now? Is it going to be an 11 v 11 triple? Is that gonna be what's gonna define a war if people are putting up double digit 10 v 10 numbers? Uh, so here we have him. Uh, we got Hogs starting off at the top. Queen charging right into the core and you can clearly see um, the defense ring that was broke. Hogs have nowhere to go. You can kind of see, or not kind of, but you can straight up see that um, the defense pathing, that 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 L-shaped uh, defense pathing, going through the base from 12 to nine to six. Uh, this Tesla did get away from right here. Didn't even notice it. He did drop a wizard to get that cleanup down nice and early. Uh, didn't see that Tesla. That Tesla did escape his clutches. Um, so this one did kind of come close to time, but look at what he has left up. Healers peeling off the queen. She's at full health. They're healing up the hogs. Uh, and it's going to end right there at 100%. Very, very nicely done. So, I mean, kind of a war recap. Wanted to highlight some of these attacks. Showing you guys these hog attacks. Wanted to give mad, mad love to all the DA guys making this merger happen. And I mean, and we even broke, I mean, surprisingly enough, we even broke Grumpy Old Men's 23 one, or 23 war win streak. Uh, the guys hadn't lost uh, a random spin in, oh, I mean, over three months. So huge shout to everybody in Fortune Steel, getting it done. The final 112 to 110. Want to talk about the meta, show you guys these hog attacks and what's working. But we did have a dragon, a dragon 10v10. We had HGHB. Uh, we had queen charge, uh, mass hog attacks, kill squad hog attacks. I mean, you name it. Could I mean, just could not believe how this war broke down. And uh, 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 and coming from an awesome fair play clan, very strong clan like Grumpy Old Men, made it that much sweeter. Even breakdown. Um, yeah, I want to get this video out to you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below about the new meta. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. Comments, questions, or concerns uh, down below. Uh, like the video if you liked it. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next video.